This is the model of the large domestic aircraft C-919, specially used for wind tunnel tests. The past few years have already determined China as being at the forefront and leading the hypersonic sector in the race with its rivals, particularly the U.S. itself. Another development has recently been unveiled by the Chinese side, which widened the gap even more among the competition, and it seems China has no intentions of backing down. According to the Washington Post, one Pentagon assessment shows Beijing is about to unveil a high-tech spy drone unit. Have a look at that right there. That would give its surveillance program potentially a significant boot. With veiled intentions and futuristic ambitions, the Chinese government has unveiled a new type of air-launched space plane, purportedly designed for a multitude of roles, from commercial ventures to clandestine reconnaissance and even potential military might. And that's just not it. This space plane has broken several records. Intrigued? Stay with us and find out why this space plane is making headlines all over the world. Today's episode will cover China's new hypersonic space plane. This is Race to Space. And if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. China has recently conducted a groundbreaking test in its ultra-powerful hypersonic wind tunnel, evaluating a new air-launched space plane design. China is building the world's most powerful wind tunnel to simulate hypersonic travel as fast as 12 kilometers per second. The spacecraft's futuristic features are tailored to serve commercial, reconnaissance, and military purposes. Footage of the test was released by the Chinese government, showcasing the world's most potent wind tunnel performing a scale separation test where an air-launched space plane appears to detach from a mothership aircraft. This momentous event was reported by the War Zone, which drew attention to the resemblance between the tested space plane's design and images from wind tunnel tests released by the China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics, or the CAAA, in 2019. Nevertheless, there are no immediate indications linking the two tests. In June 2023, Asia Times reported on the significant progress of China's JF-22 hypersonic wind tunnel following a successful evaluation the previous month. Which paved the way for the development of China's next generation fighter jets. This cutting-edge facility can accurately simulate the atmosphere encountered by spacecraft upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Scientists from the National Natural Science Foundation of China confirmed that the JF-22's performance indicators met international standards, including effective test time, temperature, pressure, and nozzle flow. The main goal of this project is to accelerate the development of a space-to-Earth shuttle system, which, if successful, could lead to a substantial 90% cost reduction in launching of satellites and spacecraft. The construction of China's JF-22 began in 2018 and reached completion in August 2021. With its impressive dimensions of 167 meters in length, 4 meters in diameter, and sustainable airflow ranging from 3 to 10 kilometers per second, the JF-22 stands as the world's largest and fastest hypersonic wind tunnel. The large machine that Zhang Su Yin and his team are installing and testing is the JF-22, the most advanced ultra-high-speed or so-called hypersonic speed wind tunnel in the world. It is capable of simulating hypersonic flight conditions up to Mach 30 for a maximum of 130 milliseconds far surpassing the capabilities of the most advanced U.S. hypersonic wind tunnel, Lens 2, which reaches Mach 7 for only 30 milliseconds. Additionally, in September 2022, Asia Times also reported on the completion of China's Sichuan-based free-piston-driven hypersonic shock tunnel, which currently holds the title of the largest facility of its kind worldwide. This facility can simulate extreme flight conditions up to Mach 33, with a velocity range of 2.5 to 11.5 kilometers per second. While it is a significant advancement, its simulation length is limited to only a thousandth of a second, which is too short for certain experiments. Nevertheless, this facility will complement other wind tunnels to overcome such limitations. Both China's JF-22 and the Sichuan-based free piston-driven hypersonic shock tunnel play crucial roles in the development of China's space plane, which is envisioned as a multi-mission platform and a potential foundation for future space weapons. China's Shenglong Mini Space Tunnel returned back in May 2023, which landed in the Gobi Desert after spending 276 days in orbit since its launch in August of the previous year. Although Shenlong's flight duration was shorter than the US X-37B, which orbited 
for 908 days, it represented a significant milestone for China's space program. Shenlong demonstrated its capabilities through multiple large maneuvers, altitude adjustments, and formation flying, leading to speculation that it may serve in various roles, including launching satellites, conducting reconnaissance missions, and performing military tasks. China has launched a reusable space plane. How does that work? It appears to be something like a small uh, space shuttle, if you want to imagine. We've known can stay up there for literally years in orbit, landing safely and then being relaunched. The development of a reusable mass satellite launch platform is of paramount importance for establishing satellite constellations, which major world powers consider strategic assets. The Wall Street Journal reported on the race between China and the U.S. to find cost-effective and efficient methods for launching low-Earth orbit (LEO) satellites. China aims to address its internet access gaps by deploying LEO satellites for remote areas. To achieve this goal, China has planned the construction of 7,808 LEO broadband internet satellites. While no enterprise in China has yet developed a reusable launch platform akin to SpaceX's Falcon 9, the Shenlong space plane and similar designs may serve as viable options for mass satellite launches. Hypersonic test facilities, such as the JF-22 and the Sichuan-based facility, play a crucial role in the development of advanced reconnaissance drones capable of flying at supersonic and hypersonic speeds, allowing them to evade enemy air defenses effectively. Asia Times reported on China's rocket-powered supersonic WZ-8 drone in April 2023 a state-of-the-art reconnaissance system capable of gathering real-time mapping data for strategic analysis or predetermining missile strike targets. This technology's potential was evidenced by leaked documents showcasing WZ-8's missions over Taiwanese and South Korean airspace. Furthermore, China's space plane mothership design may serve as a fractional orbit bombardment platform, or FOBS. FOBS involves delivering a payload into LEO and then re-entering the atmosphere to attack a target before completing a full orbit. Combining hypersonic weapons technology with FOBS can potentially overcome some of FOBS's limitations, enhancing accuracy and enabling the launch of attacks from various directions with shorter flight times compared to Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs. While previous SALT II agreements prohibited the deployment of nuclear weapons or weapons of mass destruction in orbit around Earth, the combination of hypersonic technology and FOBs might exploit a loophole in the treaty. In October 2021, a report covered China's potential testing of such a weapon, where a rocket launched a hypersonic glide vehicle, or HGV, that circled the Earth in LEO before targeting its destination. This development underscores China's pursuit of advanced space capabilities and raises questions about international security implications. As China continues to make significant strides in hypersonic technology and space exploration, the global community must carefully assess the implications and potential ramifications of such advancements. According to United States defense officials, while Russia's use of advanced hypersonic missiles and its bombardment of Ukraine has garnered significant attention, carnage is astounding. Ukrainian authorities now say at least 112 children have died and that another 140 are wounded. It is China that possesses the most advanced hypersonic arsenal in the world. Both China and Russia have conducted numerous successful tests of hypersonic weapons and likely have operational systems. But China surpasses Russia in terms of supporting infrastructure and the number of deployed systems. Over the past two decades, China has made remarkable progress in developing conventional and nuclear-armed hypersonic missile technologies through substantial investment, focused development, rigorous testing, and deployment. Hypersonic weapons, unlike ballistic missiles, are are highly maneuverable despite traveling at five times the speed of sound, Mach 5. This high-speed maneuverability makes them difficult to detect and intercept, increasing their potency as offensive assets. China operates two research sites for hypersonic weapons, housing at least 21 wind tunnels capable of testing vehicles at speeds of up to Mach 12. Among its hypersonic arsenal are the DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile equipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle, and the DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile, which also carries a hypersonic glide vehicle. 
Notably, during a test in July 2021, the DF-41's hypersonic weapon circumnavigated the globe, drawing comparisons to the start of the original space race in the 1950s. China's other hypersonic assets include the DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle and the Starry Sky-2, a nuclear-capable hypersonic prototype. On the other hand, Russia's hypersonic weapons include the Kinzhal, Avangard, and Zircon missiles. The Kinzhal travels at speeds of up to Mach 10, the Avangard claims to travel it over Mach 20, and the Zircon has a top speed of Mach 8. Both China and Russia have been advancing their hypersonic capabilities rapidly, with Russia even announcing plans to place a hypersonic glide vehicle on its Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile. In contrast, the United States is still in the testing and development stages of its hypersonic weapons. Although the U.S. military has been developing a range of hypersonic weapons, it has no intentions of arming them with nuclear warheads. Unlike China and Russia, however, it seems unlikely that U.S. will follow its call of not arming its hypersonic equipment with nuclear warheads. The ongoing race to develop and deploy hypersonic weapons raises concerns about global security and the ability to counter these highly maneuverable and elusive systems. With much about China's new advanced space plane covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.